Mr. Speaker, we all received today a, um, a letter today from the PCI, the Property Casualty Insurers, asking us to support this bill. And if you read, if you read this, at the bottom line, they, at the bottom of the page, they talk about the what's in the bottom line for the consumer, and it talks about convenience and how fast they can get their car done. But, but let's really talk about the bottom line, what's in it for the insurance industry, okay? It's gonna be easier for them to steer customers to their preferred shops, which is illegal under Pennsylvania law. But if they can control the appraisal process, I had an auto body guy told me that when a car came in, they did the photo appraisal, and they were given a price of $1,800 over the phone for the photos that were viewed by the, by the um, insurance industry. But the total repair of the car after subsequent appraisals, the total repair from the car for the car was over $6,000. So they're gonna lowball it and try to steer, okay, with this process, they will lowball this and steer it to their preferred shops, which is illegal, okay? No longer will they, will they need to pay a contracted license appraisal, okay? But it will mean, the bottom line, according to this, it will mean a lot larger profits for the insurance industry. We're diluting, a consumer protection bill, not an insurance bill. This is a bill about consumer protection. This is, this is the, we're dealing with people's automobiles. People drive around in these automobiles with their newborn babies, their families, and we're gonna allow a shoddy process like this take place. What, what, what the maker of the, the legislation, this bill didn't tell you was two states. There were 47 states that, had the, that allowed for this. In the last 14 months, two states have found this, this process so egregious, and they found the insurance industry taking advantage of the consumer so badly, they repealed this, this process and have outlawed it. Okay? I, I, I really think we should be aware of what we're going to do before we allow this process to take place here. Mr. Speaker, where is the Commonwealth's responsibility to the motoring public? Where are the requirements that, this, that under the safety is paramount guidelines stipulated under the personal inspection of the Appraisals Act and completed by a licensed appraiser? Mr. Speaker, the Pennsylvania Vehicle Phys Physical Damage Appraiser Act was written to protect consumers and your automobile invest investment. House Bill 1638 will only benefit the insurance industry by settling claims without a state license appraisals, physical inspection to, property inspect, to properly inspect the damages after an automobile is damaged. It's not a safe process. Photos eliminate, photos estimates are not accurate. They're not an accurate method to appraise damages. The vehicle owner will lose big under this scenario. The industry will settle claims unfairly. Mr. Speaker, the stake, state, stakeholders in this have requested public hearings on revisions to the Pennsylvania Motor Vehicle Damage Appraiser Act, but we have not had any. Why is, the major, why, is, why is such a major change being done without public awareness or even public insight on this? The personal inspection requirement of the state licensed physical damage appraiser is being diluted through the elimination of the required hands-on examination by state, certified, by state certified appraisal. Why would we sacrifice the safety is paramount provision to the act to allow for telephone, photos, desk reviews, and video inspections. I would ask the members in this house to vote no on this because eventually we're gonna deal with it again when we find out that this is so egregious it'll be back here before us to repeal this law that we're gonna to vote today. I'd ask the members to vote no. Thank you.